Let's talk about equipment, everyone's favorite topic. Okay, so what is the lens that I use to create my boudoir images? This has to be the question people ask me the most. And just to give you the, the answer right away, okay, I don't want to make you wait. This is the lens that I use for most of the work you see in my website, in my Instagram feed. It's a Canon 50mm 1.4. This is my lens of choice, it's, it barely leaves my camera body. But before I go into the details and the reasons why I you know, use this lens the most, let me tell you a couple of things about equipment, you know, my thoughts on equipment. I think equipment is overrated, okay? I think equipment is important, but it is not as important as you may think. Let me give you an analogy so you understand better what I'm trying to say. For example, you wouldn't go to Roger Federer after he wins a tournament and say, hey Roger, I love how you play. What is the racket that you're using? Because I would like to play like you. So you wouldn't say that, right? Because the racket is not what makes Roger Federer a great tennis player. I'm sure the racket, you know, is the state of the art racket is made of special materials and is all customized for Roger Federer. But the reason why Roger is a great tennis player is because the way he moves in the court is his understanding of the game. The hours and hours of practice he puts in, it's his mental strength, it's his physical strength. So there's all these things what makes uh, Roger Federer a great tennis player. So similarly with photography, the camera and the lens is not what makes a photographer a good photographer. Okay, what makes you a good photographer or a great photographer is how, how do you use light, your understanding of composition, knowing how to treat people. If you want to do boudoir photography, is your posing skills. So all these things will make you a great photographer. It's not the equipment, okay? Uh, so, but our egos try to blame the equipment for our lack of skill. And everybody is going to have a different opinion on what is the best camera, what is the best lens, okay? And this happened to me when I was beginning. I was listening to a lot of people and I ended up spending a lot of my money on equipment. And this is a mistake. What you should be doing is investing in your education, investing in understanding uh, composition, light, and all the skills you need to be a great photographer. So that, th those are my thoughts on equipment. So let me now go into the details and explain why is that I use this lens the most. So reason number one I use this lens is because it's a small and lightweight lens. And for me, this is very important because before COVID, I used to travel a lot for shoots. So for me, it's very important to have something that is easy to handle and that, that fits in my bag, in my carry-on, okay? So this one is, is perfect for that. Uh, before I had this lens, I was using a Sigma Art 50mm 1.4 and it's an amazing lens, okay? Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful lens, but it's twice as big, twice as heavy and twice as expensive. So I, I sold it and I got this one. Is this as good as the Sigma Art? It is not, but it's, it's almost there, okay? It's very, it's very similar. So for me, paying twice as much for something that is marginally better, it, it didn't make sense, you know, it's not worth it. So uh, that's why I use this one. The second reason why uh, I use this lens is because it's a fast lens, okay? It's a 1.4. And for, uh, for me, it works because of the way I shoot, I end up shooting in low light conditions often. And for that, I need a lens that can help me do that. Now, some of you may be thinking, would the 51.2 be better, a better option? And absolutely, it will be better. But again, for me, this works better because the 51.2 is bigger, is heavier, and is a lot more expensive. Okay, a 51.2, depending on which version of the lens you want, a Canon, could be between, you know, 1500 to 2500. So, is it worth it to pay that much for a lens that is uh, a little better? Well, it's actually a lot better, right? But, you know, I don't need a Ferrari to go buy groceries. Okay, I can just use my Honda Civic. <laughs> I am not going to put my, my photos in, in a billboard or on the side of a bus. This lens 
gets the job done and it does a really great job okay so i i don't need uh you know other lenses although i may i may change i don't know i but for now this is the lens that i that i like and that i use the third reason why i use this lens is because it's very versatile okay it works great in almost any condition it's not a wide angle lens it's not a telephoto lens it sits right in the middle this is like the goldilocks of lenses i use it to shoot in small spaces close up or details in a more open space so it works really well in every situation in almost every situation there's some cases where i use a different lens which i'm going to talk in a second but for 99 percent of the time this is, this works just great and the last reason why I like this lens is because it's a great value for money lens, okay? Uh, new, it costs around $400. You can buy it used for half the price. Uh, you will get beautiful bokeh, it's sharp, it's fast. Now, is this my favorite lens? It is not, okay? And that's the plot twist. But before I talk to you about the lens that I like, my, my favorite lens, let me talk about uh, our sponsor today, which is DreamBooks Pro Albums. If you're looking for an album company with beautiful products, world-class quality, premium materials, and one of the most competitive delivery times in the industry, look no further. DreamBooks Pro is one of the top 10 photographic labs in the world with more than 40 years experience. I use them exclusively for all my album needs. The albums are so pretty, they really sell themselves, and my clients are super happy with them. Uh, they have over 20 Many different options to choose from including acrylic leather linen velvet and even wood so if you want to give it a try I have a super special 60% discount for your first order just follow the link in the description below to get your coupon so my favorite lens is this one okay this is a an 85 1.2 Canon and this lens is a beast it's super sharp wide open the bokeh you can you get with this lens is dreamy okay the the background melts it's beautiful it's amazing everybody looks fantastic in this lens it, it, it keeps the proportions the right proportions of the body this is the best lens you can get if you want to do portraits so so yeah i love i love this lens so what are the problems with this lens are actually the opposite of the the 50. I, so the qualities of this are the disadvantage of this one. Okay, so this one is, is super heavy. It's chunky, it's heavy, and it's really expensive. Okay, uh, but you're gonna look like a professional photographer. When you walk in the room with this lens attached to your camera, you're gonna look like a pro, okay? Um, but it's chunky, it's heavy. I don't like to carry this guy around when I'm traveling. I normally leave it at home unless I know I'm going to shoot outdoors because you will need a lot of space. And I'm talking, you know, if you're using a full frame camera. I normally move between four feet and 10 feet away from my clients to get most of the shots. With this one, I will need to use probably twice as much, okay, 20 feet. And so that's something that I normally don't, don't do. And yeah, it, it, it is expensive. It's an expensive lens. This one probably will cost you between $2,000 and $3,000, depending on which version of the lens you want to get. Uh, so it's super expensive. The out of focus is not as great as in other lenses. I use it very uh, seldomly. Uh, I use it when I want to do some details, close-ups of their lips, their hands. O other than that, this is the lens uh, I use. As a business owner, uh, one of the most important things for me is the best use of my resources. This lens, for sure, is of great value, okay? So, but that's me. And again, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. The reasons why I use these lenses are personal choice, uh, my personal taste. But I know photographers that use this as, the, as their main lens, the 85. Okay, I know photographers also that use a 35 as their main lens. 
or even wider than that. I know photographers that use zoom lenses as their lens of choice and you know they don't work for me again for the reasons you know they're big they're heavy they're more expensive they're not as fast as this one for example and so it will depend on what is the style that you shoot for example if you're using strobes or flashes probably a zoom lens that is not that fast will work better people if you don't like to move too much a zoom lens probably will work better for you if you want to take a detail then you just move the ring and it will get you closer with this one you have to move and walk a lot of people don't like that i don't mind i i just move <laughs> but it will be up to you so take everything i say with a grain of salt listen to uh, what other people have to say and make your decision but don't end up buying a lot of stuff maybe rent it first try it see if you like it and if you like it go ahead and get it Okay, but don't focus on equipment, focus on your education. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining, for listening and take care, stay safe and get vaccinated if you can. Okay, see you around. Bye bye.